Okay, <clears throat> so this is how you make a touch plate wire for the How 2K board or the Flexi How board. Um, basically, it's a touch plate, a piece of metal of a specific thickness. This one is a nice one that was custom designed for me by Trader. He kindly did that. Thank you, Trader. And um, it's designed to do um, edge finding. So it's got the circle and then it's got the, the square for finding your edge of the material. But anyway, what I've done is I've screwed one wire in that goes to the center terminal for the uh, for the when you look at the how 2k breakout board you've basically got uh, probe and tool so probe would be for your touch plate which is what we're talking about and you just basically have plus and minus wires to make a circuit so there's um, continuity and then you've got uh, tool setter and a tool setter <clears throat> would look like this. And this I'm gonna wire up next. I'll make a video on that when I'm done. But um, the other wire, the black wire, goes to a clip, which you clip onto the spindle uh, tool that you've got in there. What I'd like to figure out is if there's a way not to have to use this clip on the tool and just permanently clip this to the machine somewhere if it if the spindle can be grounded um, just from the frame because it's bolted on I'm hoping that's the case so that way I don't have to clip this each time uh, if anybody knows let me know um, but yeah so that's just uh, a clip that will clip onto your bit in the spindle or somewhere onto the spindle hopefully and then you play this place this on your uh, material or on your spoil board to get your Z height setting um, and what I have to study next is how to input the proper size of this into IO sender I imagine and then how to actually run the probing process. I don't even know how to do that yet, so I need to figure that out next. Anyway, hope that helps. I'm gonna go plug this into the um, breakout PCB now and see how it goes, thanks.